This is a great opportunity for us to uh, understand the skills we have within NAVAIR with respect to data change. And I think this is a great way uh, to work with the uh, Navy's initiative to go digital. This year's data challenge was exciting. More of the teams toughed it out and stayed with it versus dropping out like last year. So we ended up with four finalist teams who worked hard to be here, did a great job and providing visual depictions, doing analysis of the data to show us some possibilities and some options for next steps. I think the most impressive and exciting thing about the NAVAIR Data Challenge was the real passion to want to make a difference. And then they've taught themselves what they need to know about analytics and data science in order to make some really powerful outcomes in the near term. It really tested our analytical skills. A uh, great opportunity to, uh, to learning uh, in all areas of the supply chain across the all maintenance uh, levels. Just being able to gather those resources from the FRCs and I level and then the challenge of manipulating that and to be able to get great results out of it have been particularly difficult. We saw some great ways to take the data we have today and identify where part shortages are which is a major contributor to aircraft being down in the fleet today. Data analytics is one of the big areas that's really starting to grow because of technology that's become available to do high-powered computing. And so we thought this would be a good way to energize our workforce because we knew they had a lot of skills to do this, but they didn't have the training for it. So this is a way for them to sharpen their skills. As we look to make a digital transformation, not just the NAVAIR, but the Navy writ large, it's gonna be absolutely essential to build new partnerships between longtime contributors to the Navy, but also um, innovative companies that specialize in new and groundbreaking AI and new analytical tools. We were very fortunate to get a great band of judges this year. Having the chief data scientist from Reddit here and having the keynote speaker from FICO are both companies that succeed on their ability to do good analytics. And so their ability to take domain knowledge they have on good analysis and help our participants find a way to make a difference in naval aviation it was pretty exciting crossover. For FICO, it's really important for us to have really strong collaboration and interaction so that the very best sort of techniques that maybe have been refined in the, let's say, financial services space over the last 25 to 30 years get shared um, with, let's say, NAVAIR as they explore different ways to use data and develop models. That way we get a different perspective looking at the different tools and we get more of an overview and if it's good for the private sector and for the for NAVAIR, overall it should work or at least improve how we support the fleet. So we're anticipating that next year's challenge will not be about fleet readiness. We're trying to figure out something different. And the other thing we're looking at is how can we make this event and the challenge better and bigger? We think we might do something on the business side or on how to improve the acquisition cycle time and maybe making it some sort of real-time uh, interactive uh, workshop. One of the things about NPS that's so wonderful is that NPS can serve as a hub for so many transformational things going on in the Navy. That's why we're partnering with them for some training opportunities. So we very much value Naval Postgraduate School and what they're doing for the data science community.